Hey guys, so today I want to talk to you about My Family, which is a BBC show. It started in 2000, I think if I'm not mistaken, September 2000. And it's just entered its 10th season. It's quite lucky actually because I was flicking through the TV channels on Friday night and I saw it happen to be on and I was like, oh, I'll, I'll stop and watch My Family because I love it. It's one of those shows that I just go back to and keep watching. And so I sat down and watched it and I was like, hang on, I've not seen this. And it turned out it's, the 10th season has just started. The first episode was on Friday and the next episode will be on next Friday and then so on. So I was quite ecstatic that there was another season because I hadn't heard there was going to be a 10th. So that was brilliant. And if you've not seen the show before, it bake, 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 I'll start again. It basically focuses on a family, the Harper family, and sort of all the antics they get up to and the funny things and the comedy it brings. And technically they're your typical family, you know, without your feuds, but then they also stick together when they need to, and it's just really lovely. So your two parent characters are Ben and Susan, ben, um, the Harper family. Ben Harper is played by Robert Lindsay, who I will be honest, I've not seen him in that much apart from this, but if it says like um, new TV show coming soon starring Robert Lindsay, I will make sure I watch it because he is so fantastic. Um, he has the best um, comic timing. He is just a brilliant, brilliant actor. And then Susan is played by Zoe Wanamaker, who I, I have seen in quite a lot compared to um, what I've seen Robert Lindsay in. And Zoe is fantastic. She um, is Madame Hooch in Harry Potter, who I absolutely love. And she also played Lady Cassandra in Doctor Who, who of course I adore. Um, she's in actually my favourite my favorite Doctor Who episode is New Earth and um, Zoe's in that, so that's pretty cool. Um, she's been in other things but I can't think of anything off of the top of my head, but she is fantastic. Then you have their kids. You have Michael, who's a sort of science lover geek, if you will. Um, played by, if I'm looking down because I never remember all these names, but he's played by Gabriel Thompson who again is another person I've not seen in much but he is fantastic in this um, Michael as a character is brilliant and I think the next episode of season 10 actually focuses on him so that'll be quite cool and I've always loved Michael as a character I think he is fantastic he reminds me and I keep talking about Sabrina in videos I'm gonna have to do, stop doing this but he reminds me of Miles in Sabrina so that's quite special and then you have Janie who I think is the oldest. She could be a bit younger than Nick. I think she's the oldest, but I'll get on to Nick in a minute. Not literally, of course. Um, and she's played by Daniela, De De Daniela Denbiash. I can't talk today. My words are all over the place. And I absolutely adore Daniela. She's been in other things that I've seen. Typically, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. But she is a fantastic actress. And the character is quite weird because she's a little bit dim, but she's not like is sort of dim as Abby, who I will talk about in a minute again. Um, I really like her character. I don't think I can relate to her that much, but she's really quite interesting. I'll use the word interesting. And um, then, as I said, we have Nick, who is played by Chris Marshall. And he hasn't been in quite a while. He left quite a few seasons ago, which is a shame because I love the character. He's your sort of... I'm trying to um, retract from using the word stud, but that's a sort of impression you get, you know. Um, not the brightest, um, sort of looks alright, kind of. Um, so yeah, he's a fantastic character. I don't really know how you describe Nick. It's best for you to watch it and see the character yourself. But he is, basically, um, he contrasts with Michael. That's the only way to look at it. He's the complete opposite of Michael. So that in itself brings hilarity to the show. Like I said, it's a shame he's not in it just now. Um, I wish he was, but never mind. We've still got the other seasons to, to watch if you want to see him in it. Then you have Abby, who's played by Siobhan Hayes, who I absolutely adore. Um, she's done loads. She's been in EastEnders and things. And The first thing I like about Abby is how much she reminds me of Phoebe from Friends. Siobhan kind of looks like Lisa Kudrow. They're not like twins or anything, but there's a kind of similarity in their appearance. I think it's mainly the long blonde hair. But Abby's character is quite dim you know she's a bit silly and she's she's very fun and things and she's just that sort of really bubbly fun character and I'm trying to think how she's related to the family I can't actually remember it because she's not one of their um kids I don't think is she I've never really paid attention to that but yeah she's a fantastic character and 
like I said, the whole Phoebe connection is brilliant, so that is fab. Then Abby dates Roger, who works in the the um what's the word for dentist place? What's I'm totally thick today, you know that I can't think of anything. I'm knackered. Anyway, um so Roger Ben is a dentist and Roger works in the dentist with Ben and then Abby dates Roger and that brings his character into it more. And Roger is played by Kieran Self and he is fantastic, he's hilarious. He's a little bit like Abby, so their personalities go really well together and that just adds to the humour of the show and it's just so lovely. Um, and then before I forget to mention him, you have Kenzo, because I knew I'd forget to mention him, played by... Now, it, I don't know if it's Taylor or Tyler Marshall, because it's T-A-Y-L-E-R, which is like a cross between Taylor and Tyler. Um, but anyway, I don't know if he's related to Chris Marshall. Perhaps he is, or perhaps he just has the same name, coincidentally. And he is a fantastic young actor. And um, obviously that is um, Janie's son, Kenzo is Janie's son, and he is adorable. I don't know how old he is, but he's under the age of 10 anyway. And he is so sweet. He was in season 10 first episode and he's just adorable. Um, it's, it's kind of weird having a, a child in this type of TV show because it's like... The, the comedy in this is kind of like a watered down version of Two Pints of Lager. Which I will do a video on at some point. So it's kind of like a mild version. It, it's a pre-watershed version of this and it's really nice. So it's really weird having a child in it. Obviously um, when Kenzo was a baby there was a baby in it but that's kind of different. But when you've actually got a child who can pick things up and learn things you've got to sort of... I suppose watch the humour, but it's really fantastic and brilliant. Um, in a way, my family does remind me of Friends. It's like Friends, but the family version. It's like it's like what Friends would be like if it was called Family. That's I think that's the reason why I love it so much. It's because it's very much like Friends. The humour is very much the same. So if you love Friends, then you will love this. That's basically what I'm trying to say. The show was created by Fred Barron, who. I checked on IMDb because it wasn't a name I recognised, um, but he worked with After You've Gone, which is one of my other favourite BBC shows, um, and he also did other things. He did Caroline in the City, which I'll be honest, I've not seen, but it had the word Caroline in it, so I thought I'd mention that one. Um, each episode is 30 minutes, which I think is the perfect time for a comedy show. Any longer and the plot itself starts to get lost, and then they're just throwing in punchlines all over the place, and any shorter and it's sort of just rushed. So for me, 30 minutes is the perfect time, not just for comedy shows and sitcoms and things, but just in general for a programme. Um, there's in between 7 and 14 episodes per DVD, which I think is a bit of an odd number. I mean, 7 episodes in a single DVD isn't that much, to be honest with you. Like, there's a, the season DVDs. But the DVDs themselves aren't that expensive if you want to, like, buy them again. I'm going to buy them so I can sort of watch series 1 through to series well, series 9 and then when series 10 is released. Um, I think you can get the whole of series 1 to 7 for £23 on Amazon. And then you're about £6 or £7 for series 8 and series 9. Um, obviously series 10 will be a bit more expensive because it hasn't been released yet. Um, but it's definitely worth looking out for. The thing with this show is that the comedy is something everybody can relate to. But at the same time, it's sort of out of this world as well. Like... There's people falling off roofs and things in different episodes, which, generally speaking, doesn't happen on a day-to-day -day basis with your family. But then the situation that caused them to fall off the roof is something you can relate to. So it sort of takes people's everyday problems, makes them funny, and then takes them to the next level as well. So that is really great. Um, season 10 itself is just brilliant. Like I said, there's only been one episode which, um, which involved Ben being in a wheelchair when he shouldn't have been in a wheelchair. Um, Definitely worth watching. It'll be on iPlayer, like um, like I said with my last video about um, the Sex Ed show. I don't know if these things are going to be available outside of the UK, which is not the best thing. But maybe you can get hold of the DVD on your region and things. Um, this is all I have time to say for. I really blab on too much, don't I? Um, so feel free to leave comments and things and let me know your thoughts. I love this show so, so much and I cannot recommend it enough. It is definitely worth watching and I promise you, you will love it. Um, so feel free to leave comments and things and video responses and let me know your thoughts and I will see you next time. Bye guys!